One of my favorite things in the whole film is like uh, this amazing sequence where the, some characters are like harmonizing with these alpacas. And uh, we were like waiting, for setting up a take or something, and the alpaca started making these weird sounds. And we sort of, uh, sort of made up this little tune and had the actors start kind of humming it, and the alpacas are like responding to it. And it's just this really weird, like mystical jam, like alpaca jam. I think so many of us were so sort of naive, and there was a certain like spirit of not really knowing what we were getting into that I think is really sort of precious and that we needed to have in order to do this. I think if any of us really knew what it was that we were getting into, there might be a certain amount of trepidation. We definitely went out to the woods um, with a script that I can't remember the exact page count, but it was, you know, I think it was maybe somewhere around like 70 or 80 pages. Um, and we continued working on the, the script while we were actually out there in the woods in our laptops and our tents and stuff. Um, but I definitely went out to the woods sort of knowing what, what the story was, what the kind of, you know, beginning, middle, and end is, you know, granted that, you know, it's sort of loose in a film like this. But, you know, I knew what was going to happen. I knew what the, the general, at least, story arc, I suppose, was. Um, but then, just the sort of general nature of living out there in the way that we did, sort of, um, so much of the process of making the film sort of mirrored what the film was about in terms of us all kind of living out there and experiencing this thing together. And inevitably, things sort of presented themselves over that process um, that we then incorporated into the story. While the people in the film are acting really ridiculously and like their reaction to this, this stuff, you know, that are, that are you know, um, these really gigantic problems, their reaction is really ridiculous. I feel very similar in my own reaction to like sort of what's going on in the world and the reaction that a lot of people that I um, sort of know who are also conscious about what's happening in the world but don't really know how to react to what's going on. And I think there's a similar absurdity to sort of, you know, taking a canvas tote bag to the grocery store, or taking a one minute shower, you know, when, uh, when we're, you know, facing the kind of issues that, that we are. Uh, as absurd as these people may be behaving, like I am these people to a certain degree. You know, it's definitely um, exaggerated, but I, I can definitely connect with these people, and there are certainly parts of myself that I, that I see in them, and, and this desire to, you know, to do something, to have some actual impact, but just being so kind of clueless in terms of how to do that. And I see. I just think something that I recognize in myself is just a lot of contradiction in terms of like, you know a want for something different, but also being, being sort of like trapped in, in this sort of uh, society that, I, that I'm sort of a part of. And so this constant kind of push and pull, and I think that's something that, yeah, I kind of wanted to, to embody in these characters, I guess. I, I, I had this idea, and I knew that in Oregon, uh, near where I grew up in Roseburg, um, you know, uh, we could get a lot of community support, or I had an idea that we could get a certain amount of community support. Definitely, it definitely proved to be much larger than I initially anticipated. But, um, but yeah, we just got a bunch of people who I think all shared in this sort of common desire, um, and who, you know, could sort of afford to move to the woods for a month and, you know, really not be paid and just sort of, yeah, live out there in tents and um, sort of eat donated food um, from, yeah, like as another actor was saying, from like Alzheimer's hospitals and stuff. I mean, it definitely wasn't, wasn't uh, glamorous, but I think we all shared in this kind of common drive, and, and I think that, um, that, yeah, it was just sort of amazing. And it just sort of grew into this gigantic thing where this entire community near where we grew up was just uh, just being supportive in all kinds of ways, whether it was donating food, whether it was loaning us gut skis or alpacas, or whether it was you know just coming out and donating their time or doing this or that. There was just this flooding of support. And um, yeah, it was never about those things that it seems like filmmaking is very often about in those other in places, LA or New York. It was never about money. It was never about sort of notoriety. It just seemed to be like, we're really excited that you know, you're you know, you from this place where you don't see people doing this very often and we're excited by what you're doing and we want to help you. And um, yeah, and it just sort of grew. And that was, it just sort of continued throughout the entire process. I sort of anticipated that it might not be for everyone. And I think the response so far has sort of mirrored that. I think that, um, I've had, you know, after almost every screening, I have, you know, one or two people uh, sort of approach me who really seem to have gotten the film and really seem to have connected with it on some um, sort of serious level. Like last night, it was it was sort of amazing. There was this woman in the crowd who was from the hometown, like my hometown, and uh, I think she was like in her 80s or something, and she really seemed like totally amped on it. And it was kind of like surprising to me. Like I imagine that it would, you know, may have like alienated someone, you know. Um, I don't know, from that sort of like demographic, but she seemed to like really be down with it and really get it. And then, you know, really like there was like some high school kids at, at Sundance who, you know, um, seemed to really feel like this was sort of their film. Like I had this guy say, you know, like I, I feel like what this film is about, you know, like I want to do something, but I don't know how. And I feel this lack of sort of connection or direction. Um, and it, and sort of it seemed really important to him to have a film that sort of articulated that point. I feel like there's a lot of people who feel the same sort of feeling, but there's such an, we're so kind of individual in some way in this, in this country. I feel like there's so many people who have this same sort of um, 
feeling and desire for something, but we're all sort of like looking for what that direction is and we're all sort of like separate feeling that way. So it's nice to have this film, even if it's just a few people, like be able to see that and be like, wait, like I, I feel that way, like I, you know, like, you know, and I, I gravitate it in that, in that sort of way. Making a film is kind of like a weird small reaction to the craziness of uh, what's going on. But uh, in terms of like, you know, people being increasingly sort of isolated and just watching things on their own and doing things on their own and listening to music on their own, it's exciting. Um, to just have people like actually physically coming together in a space to like watch a film like there's something about that alone that is kind of exciting.